ahead and make some Vocaloid music on Logic Pro 10. So the first thing you need to do is to create a software instrument. Many times before, I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so you want to go to your inspector area and over here you see where it says instrument. Come all the way down here to the bottom and go to the AU instruments because these are basically your VSTs or third-party plugins here. So this is from Krypton. So go to Krypton Pia Pro Studio AU. Double click that and Miku will pop up. So we can close this window out, although it is, I'll show you what that's for though. So here we can add our Vocaloid. Now there are six different Vocaloid banks. So if you double click this, you will see there are five that are actually in Japanese. And there is one, excuse me, that's in English. And I had forgotten, I also loaded Mako on here. So you wanna choose your Vocaloid and you can sample them by just clicking, clicking here. There we go. So there's, there's uh, Mako and let's see, here's Miku's. as well as, and again, it's just a different type of uh, timbre, whatever one, whatever you like, go ahead and use, use it. So let's go ahead and we will do some Miku Dark here. Now, the next thing we need to do, technically we're creating what's called a MIDI region, but just follow along, you'll be okay. So go ahead and double click this. We're gonna go into the region there. So this looks like a piano roll, and it is a piano roll. This is very familiar. So go ahead and select the pencil tool and then just click, hold, drag. This is actually creating a MIDI region. So this just means it's creating a place, a region that allows you to put in MIDI notes. That's all that is. Now, one, one thing you'll notice about the piano roll is that the that you don't have a complete measure until bar two. And that's true of many VST programs because it's taking these first two beats here to basically buffer the program because this is linked into Logic Pro and Logic Pro has to tell this when to, when to start there. So you can have a pickup here. So if you wanted to, if you want to pick up, make, make sure it's a pickup to bar two, your first measure is going to be at bar two. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw some notes in. And that's the default syllable is just la or ra in Japanese. Okay, and there you have it. So that's it. So now the thing is, when it comes to this, you can uh, you can move this you can move these around if you want to. If you want to do Command A, you can you can move, you can move into different pitches if you wanted to to select everything. You can move them around like you normally would in Logic. Now, one thing we're going to try to do here. Let's see if this works or not. Alrighty. Now you can see here it says da 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 da, and Let's see, I want to make sure I got this. I think I have enough here. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in. Well, first let me type this in Ramaji. So Ramaji is basically Japanese words written using the Greek alphabet. That's the stuff you can read. So I'm going to just say, Ko ni chi wa go za ma su. Okay, and Oops, and I'm, let's see, konnichiwa gozaimasu. Oops, I need one more note here. Let me, let's write another one in here. And let's go to, all right, right here. And we'll make that, a, we'll make that a, okay, there it is. So there's, so there it is, friends. And so we could just hit play and we will hear. And that's all it that's all it is. Now, a couple of things. One, so if you wanted to, and let me go ahead and do this, I'll go back to the pointer tool here and I'll copy this. Now, if you want to add a second 
track. Yeah, you just hit the plus sign again, and it's the same process as before. And I know it's kind of arduous there, but again, create your MIDI region. And let's just go here. And let's see if we can make this a cannon. I wonder if we could. All right, and I want to just paste it right there. Ooh, cool. And so now this will start on bar three. So it'll be a bit of a cannon here, except instead of Miko, I'm going to use uh, my Mako. Whoops. <laughs> Let's see. Let me use my Mako, my dark Mako there. Okay, and so that's all set there. And you can, and you can see, once I kind of reduce them, you can see both parts there, both voices there. So let's go back here. Let's hit play. There it is. Now, the thing is, when you go back to your logic window, so I just do command tilde, so that is command plus the button to the left of the number one. It's all open windows in your active program there. If we play this, so if we play logic, we're going to get starts there. And I know it looks a little strange because we're not seeing anything here, even though we're definitely hearing something, and that's because everything we've done is in the Pia Pro over here. Now, one more thing. Oh, real quick. Should you happen to lose this one? It's like, oh my gosh, where's the window? Just double click this, and you'll and you'll get this. And you think, well, what's this? Just double click here, you get your window back. Okay? So yeah, it's kind of a it can be a little roundabout way. Now, one more thing, if you go to if you go back to your main window, and of course you can go back here. If you want to add any plugins here, like let's put in a little, oh, let's see. Uh, okay, not what that, reverb, let's put some reverb in. Here we go. Then just whatever generic reverb we get here. Oh, let's do a, let's, I'm just gonna choose something random here. Let's see, let's do a hall. Church tower, let's see what that does. And again, Okay, so now one more thing. So, of course, you want to save your work as many times as possible there. And when you quit out of here, it will ask if you want to save the PPS track as well. And what Pia Pro Studio is asking is, do you want to save this as a PPS track? Because what it'll do, it'll save this information. And it can be used by, um, say, a collaborator who is also using Vocaloids. Now, the thing is, though, it will not... Um, your collaborator would have to have Miku and Mako in order for in order to get the same sound. Um, of course, you could bounce the tr you could bounce the track in Logic as a audio track. That's no problem there. But just a heads up. Also, one more thing: when it comes to Logic, you can only attach the Pia Pro Studio to one track. So you, the multiple tracks are going to be here and not there. And of course, I would always highly highly recommend that you say get a custom icon so let's uh we'll just use oh guys let's use mako here and boom and there you go and that and you can always retitle this so that's pretty much making music with vocaloids hope this helps and i look forward to your music